everyone. Hi guys. A warm welcome to everybody to the worry session. My name is Preeksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy, and I give you all a very warm welcome to the worry session, wherein we are gonna deal with the subjective questions from your examination point of view. So make sure that you all are staying tuned and you all are listening to me super duper carefully as well. Alrighty, people. Okay, here we go. All right. Hi guys. Welcome to the worry session, everyone. Hello everybody, how are you all doing guys? A very good afternoon, a very good Monday afternoon to everybody right there. You know your examination is just in one month. So are you all prepared for that? Are you all doing well for that? Are you all very much dedicated that you're not supposed to miss any of my classes now? Yes, Kamal, it's gonna be a mentee quiz and it's gonna be in the form of the subjective questions. All the questions that we are gonna deal with, okay, they are important from your examination point of view. So you have to just be very careful that you're paying attention to what I'm doing right now and like how we are going to move ahead about it. All right. It's pretty important. So make sure that you are going ahead with this. All righty. Hey, hi, Nandini. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the worry session, everyone. So we are going to deal with the subjective questions today. Kindly share the link of the session with all your friends. If you are new to the very channel, let me give you all a very brief introduction about myself. I've done masters in English from Delhi University and I've been guiding a lot of students for the past few years to be like literally amazing in their communication skills and to score good marks in their academics. Hey Rashi, hi Rinku, hello Tanesh, hi Nabil, hello Akshat, hi Bharti, hi Sanskar, hi Mahima. Hello everyone, welcome to the very session moving ahead you know that we have got the telegram channel okay we have specially designed it for all our dear students so that they do not miss anything and they get all the updates that we are going to come up with so make sure that you are definitely going in with this and then we have got an academy free special class features live real time interaction using chat and emojis you all can ask the questions using the question tab live poll options for quiz would also be there and poll leaderboard you all can compete with your friends as well hey amber hi dear all right, Yuvraj, if you are worried about your examination, that's not going to help you. You just have to work hard for it and you have to be confident that you know it and then you're going to do well in your examination. It shows that you need to be very particular about it, that you're understanding each and everything in detail and you're going forward with it the right way. Okay, so guys, what are the special classes for everybody? The two special classes are left for this very particular month wherein I'm going to take up the uh another i mean the two classes one class is going to be tomorrow the other one is going to be day after tomorrow so everybody be ready for that do not forget to miss it okay uh, sorry do not forget to attend it okay you cannot miss it okay so learn live from the favorite educators for free in your special classes you all can engage with your educators via polls you all can clear your doubts in the live special classes and for the top special classes visit the links in description okay and guys this is the timetable this is going to take place on 29th march super 30 questions on poems this the code is psh10 these are the free classes everybody you all can enter by using the code psh10 by downloading the unacademy app in your phone amber very nice congratulations you did you really did it so well okay my man no it's not that difficult hi anmol that's really nice king of videos hi hello hello it's not that difficult okay and on 30th March, right at 3.30 p.m., please note the timing. Do enroll for the classes. Be right there. I'm dealing with the super 30 questions wherein we are covering the two markers and the four markers for your examination. So don't miss that out. Super 30 questions, the making of a scientist is the answer. I mean, is the very um, chapter. And the code is PSH10. Make use of this code for your good. Hi, Mayanka. Very good afternoon. All right. No, Bharti. This is just for class 10th. Okay, the proud, the very uh classes they are going for the class 10th right now hi Tanya. hello hello hi tech master hello everybody welcome to the very session okay so subjective questions quiz it's gonna be and i want all of you to share the link of the session with all your friends so that all of them can come in and they can join in and the session is going to be a longer session guys whatever sessions i'm coming up with okay they are all going to be the longer sessions now i mean they are going to be like around two hours each okay so make sure that you are taking care of that and tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the morning, I'm going to take up one of the classes, which is going to be an important class from your examination point of view. And then at 2 p.m. also, I've got the class now. So keep a check on the very channel now. Keep yourself very much updated. A lot of classes are now coming for your good, okay, for your examination. So stay tuned, stay updated and do good for your own self all right here we go yuvraj i already did that we did the letter of inquiry i think that you were not there in the very class the very video is available on the channel guys the entire syllabus has been covered by me 
okay it's just that you guys will have to now be very much dedicated wherein you have to go ahead with a very correct kind of thing all right ma'am i want a suggestion from you regarding english if we are through through with the chapter and done with we like the next question for a grammar and if we revise the rules and practice questions we are going to go yes yes sarika of course if all your concepts are clear you know each and everything about your chapter you know the themes you know the analysis of the poems you know the deeper meaning you know you know what is the message that is being conveyed by any given chapter or the poem you you can easily go for your examination and of course the formats of your writing skill and uh, skills and the practice of your reading comprehension then you can really do good all right hey hello hi everybody everyone share the link with all your friends and call all of them okay Yes, everyone. Forty-nine students are in. Fifty-one now. Okay, so the number is still increasing, and we are going to work on that. Hey, everybody. Hi, Prabhu. Ma'am, let's talk about another analytical paragraph. Prabhu, the Kamal that has already been done, dear. That has already been done. The video is available on the very channel. Kindly check it out. Okay, you will come to know about it. All right, doubts in determiner, Shubham. Okay, what's your doubts? So come up with your doubts, guys. You guys don't come up with your doubts. So how would I come to know that what doubt you guys have in which uh, topic? Okay, yeah, Payal, I've been I've been giving the classes for the same in my very uh, special classes. Okay, I don't know if you are attending it or not. Okay, all the very best, Anya. Do well. Hi, Arvi. Hi, Radhima. Hey, hey. Hi, dear. You join everybody. Have you all joined? Fifty-seven students. I can see. Everyone, I want all of you to join it. Okay, that is something for your good. And everyone, do not forget to attend the very session right tomorrow, the special class right at three thirty p.m. when we are gonna do something important. Okay, yeah, of course, Rashi, I'm gonna uh, do that. Okay, don't be worried about that. I'm gonna cater all your doubts in that too very nicely. Don't be worried about it. Alrighty, people. So may I make a move now? Let it hit sixty, then I'm gonna make a move. Okay. It's still at fifty-eight. Come on, students. I have you not shared the link with all your friends? Haven't you called all of them so that they can come and join us? Fifty-nine. It is sixty. It is very good. All right. Yes, Bhavya. No, 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 Bhavya. If you have just enrolled, I mean, if you have just got into your tenth standard, so then it is not for you. Okay. This is for all the students who are going to appear for their board examination on twenty-seventh April. Sixty-five. It is. Ah, uh, Tanish. Ah, uh, we have already done that. The value-based questions in the very special class pad platform. Kindly check out the video. Okay, you'll come to know about it. Ah, uh, that's available on the very ah uh, special app. Okay, please download an academy app. Use the code PSH10. Check out the video. Follow me there. You'll get to know everything. Hi, Ramni. A uh, very good afternoon. The very first question: Why was Sulika nicknamed Polly? Because she was a mad girl, because she was a simpleton, because she was mentally slow, and anybody could befool her. Or you, or you will say both two and three. What's gonna be the right answer here? And everyone, keep listening to me very carefully. All right, keep listening to me very carefully. This is very very important. Thirty students, because no, everybody, very good. Thirty students, you guys are absolutely right about this. When you are gonna get this question in your examination, which is one of the very common questions, and it covers the two marks uh, questions. So, like the question is, why was Suleika nicknamed Bolly? So she was being named Bolly why? Because she was a simpleton. She was mentally slow, and anybody could befool her. This is what has been given in your book. So when you're gonna write this for a two mark, you have to maintain the word limit, and the answer for this question would be what I'm saying now. You have to combine your option two and your option three to form an answer. So Suleika was nicknamed Bolly because she was a simpleton, and she was mentally slow, and anybody could befool. Her. That's it. Okay, so kindly maintain the tense. Maintaining the tense. What do you mean by maintaining the tense? Whatever the question, I mean whatever the tense is there in the given question, you have to give the answer in the same tense. That's what you have to keep in your mind. Is that clear to everybody? Yes. I'm telling you how to write the answers. Make sure you all are listening to me dedicatedly and carefully. Is that clear, everyone? Yes. Clear. Everybody. Cool. 
All right, 30 students, absolutely correct. Very good. I appreciate that. Okay, 30 day strategies. I'm going to share with all of you 25 day strategy on 1st of April. So be prepared for that. Yeah, Yubra, that's a subjective question, my dear. That is a subjective question. You know, you have to club your option number two and your option number three. And that forms an answer to this particular question. Yubra, stop spamming in the class. I hope that you got my message. So, Nitesh, Vashish loves English. Very good. I too love it. High five to you. Zed, I'm going to share the strategy soon. Okay, on 1st of April. Satyam, Ria, Rudhima, Ria, Atag, Anamta, Prags, and Pala. Great, everyone. Thank you, Devya. Thank you, dear. And now, the next question on your screen. Let's see what does it talk about. Why did Sulekha start stammering? Okay, give me another word for stammering in the comment section. Sulekha was a baby when she fell down from a cord. Her brain was damaged. Or you'll say all the above or you'll say none. So, what is actually the right answer? When you are getting a two mark question, what exactly are you going to write? Madhu says B, Rashi says C, Kamal says A, Yash says C, Army says C, Yuvrat says C, okay, Kamal again says C, all righty, Shaki says C. Of course, everybody, very good. Now, this is a question that you are going to get in your examination, one of the very important questions, okay, from your chapter. What is the name of the chapter, everybody? Give me the answer in the comment section. What is the name of this chapter? Give me an answer in the comment section, everyone. Stammer to speak without being fluent. Stammer, right, Mansi? Okay, means stutter. Okay, yeah, stutter. That's right, Rashi. That's right. Okay, speak with disability. Bholi is the chapter. Very good. Hesitate. That's absolutely right. So why did Suleika start stammering? What is the reason behind it? She started stammering. Why? Because she was a baby. When she was a baby, she fell uh, down from a coat. Okay, and her brain got damaged. Some part of her brain got damaged. Okay, so that's what you're gonna write in your examination. You have to club these two points. This will form an answer for uh, your two marker. Please maintain the tense. The question has been asked in your simple past tense. You have to give the answer in the simple past tense only. So 53 students absolutely and amazingly right. Okay, now we are gonna move to the leaderboard. Let's see that who all are there. All right, so I can see some new students are in, which is really a very good sight. Okay. Very nice, very good. Bholi by Valikanan. Very good, Rashi. That's absolutely correct. Z is the fastest one. Satyam is there. Six pack gaming. King is king. Prax is there. Rhea is there. Thug is there. Palak is there. Queen Srishti is there. And then Rudhima and Dakshta. Absolutely amazing. All the students welcome on the very leaderboard. Now let's make a move towards the next thing. Question number three on your screen, everyone. Let's see what does it talk about. Why did the Tisildar come to Ramlal's village? What did he ask Ramlal to do? Okay, so Tessidar came to Ramla's village to inaugurate the primary school to set an example for others by sending his daughters to school. Okay, now what exactly is the answer here? All the above, none, A or B. What's going to be the right answer? Bholi by K. Abbas, really? Okay, alrighty. Bholi by Valikanan, Rashi, are you sure? Then what, Madam writes the bus. Who wrote that then? Who wrote that? If you are saying that Boli is written by Walika Nan, then who wrote Madam Rides the Bus? 59 students, absolutely correct. So now this is one of the major questions, an important question. It can be a two marker in your examination, okay? It may be, okay? Like may or may not be, we are not really sure about it. But the answer that you are supposed to write for this is, the Tazildar, okay, came to Ramlal's village to inaugurate in the primary school please maintain the tense the question has been asked in the simple past tense we have to maintain the tense the verb i'm gonna use in my sentence in my answer is going to be the simple past only so the tesildar came to ramlal's village to inaugurate the primary school and why did he ask basically uh, to do basically he talked about this to set uh, like uh, like why did he ask uh, for this to set it as an example okay for others by sending his daughters to the school so 59 students absolutely and amazingly write about this all right so who are there on the leaderboard everybody let's have a look what does the leaderboard talk about all righty here we go Z is the fastest one. Grade 6 pack gaming. King is king. Prax is there. Dakshita, Rhythma. Atak is there. Palak is there. Lalit, the undertaker. Okay. Anamta is there. And yes, Chaudhary from DPS. Welcome to the very leaderboard. Good to see you all here on the leaderboard. Now, question number 4 on your screen. Let's see what does it talk about. Okay. Here we go. Why did she agree to send Bholi to school? Who is she in the given question? 
Tell me in the comment section and with that give me an answer. There was no possibility of a marriage. There was every possibility of a marriage. There was some possibility of a marriage or you'll say all. What exactly is the right answer here? Hey Aditya, hi dear, welcome to the worry session. So what exactly is going to be the right answer? Discovery science says the Yura says all. Prakriti says her mother. Rashi says mother. Yura says all. Rashi says A. Satyam says A. Kamal says A. Chini says A. Ankit says A. Entertainment with Aradhya says C. Anmol says B. Sonika says A. Ankit says A. Okay, UV says A. Nihal says C. Guys, why all? Why is there such confusion? You know that there is like she made a statement which is very very clear. Can you please anybody? Can you please quote what did she exactly say? I want to know the exact quote. What did she mention in the book? Anybody in the comment section who is going to take the lead now? Come on. Entertainment with Aradhya and a problem there, but try to be on time. Okay. Come on, tell me why did she agree to send Bholi to school? What is the exact code that she said? This is what you guys need to remember everyone. That's why I always say that do the keen reading. Do not read for the sake of reading. That doesn't like give you anything. Whenever you are doing something, give your 100% in it. Okay? And the 100% is really needed here. Come on everyone. Bolly was a simpleton and since the heart poem all over the body and stammer while speaking therefore there was no possibility of her marriage. Okay, that is absolutely right. Okay, Ria, but that is not the thing. I have always been saying this that be careful in reading the questions. Send this girl to the school as there was little or no possibility, okay, of her getting married, okay. So, yeah, so that is what I'm here talking about. She said that, uh, yeah, there is no, there is no scope of any kind of, like, a uh, comment which is not needed in the very class. Okay, let the teacher worry about her because she is lack of sense. Okay, so basically the thing is that she said this so clearly that there was little or no possibility. So, little basically in a way reflects no, negligible. Okay, so now we are not gonna consider every or some. Now she does she doesn't say like that. Okay, that there was some possibility of a marriage. That means we we do not get an idea that she was anywhere positive about it. She had this impression in her mind that she is never going to be married. Okay, so be very clear about it, everyone. Be very particular about it. The answer that you're gonna write in here is she agreed to send Polly to school because there was no possibility of her marriage. All right, that's what you're gonna answer here. So 34 students absolutely correct. Yes, and there is no rule to send girls to school. Yes, Kamal, absolutely right. That's all. Hi, dear. That's right. That's right. Okay, so 34 students absolutely correct. So please remember this and read the chapters carefully. I'm again and again saying the same thing in all my sessions. Every time I reiterate the same thing, I've been repeating it. All right. Everybody, it is really important that you need to tailor your mindset in such a way that you get to understand the importance of uh, reading clearly okay this is what is important do not just perceive or have any preconceived notion that you're gonna deal with the language easily language is the toughest thing in the world if you do not get it right okay that is it is really toughest one single word can change the entire meaning of a sentence one single punctuation can change the meaning of the entire sentence so everything here matters so please tailor your mind in such a way that you get to understand everything in a right direction that is always needed. So, yeah, share the first position. Roy, okay, you're the fastest one. Gold, Dakshita, Rhea, Aztec is there. Rhea is there. Lalit, AJ, Raghav, and Zed. What happened, Zed? Why are the 10th position? What happened? So, yeah, I get to see the new students here, in, which is really amazing. Hi, hey, 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 Arslan. No, my dear, I really don't remember you. But, yeah, welcome to the worry session. Okay. I know that that's a very common thing that you guys don't get time. I get that. I'm also, I was also a student. I also started, but you will have to manage it, okay? Like management plays a very important role. Why was Bully reluctant to go to school with her father? She had never heard about it and she got frightened. She got furiated. Her father forced her to go to school or you'll say all of the above. What exactly is the right answer? Discovery signs say A, says A. Nakul says hi, okay? Entertainment with Aradhya says A, Ankit says D, Kamal says A, P. Sharika says A, and Deadshot says A, Nihal says A, Rashi says D, Nitesh says D, Chini says D, Vaishnavi says A, Ankit says D. Okay, everybody, why all the above? Could you please just let me know the meaning of the term furiated? What do you understand by the term? Furiated. What do you mean by that? If I'm saying that my mother got furiated because I couldn't reach uh, my home on time, what do you mean by that? Guys, it's important that we need to work on the cap part, like as strong as we can. Because here in all the 38 students, you guys are all wrong. Okay, while 25 students, you guys are absolutely correct. 
angry right no it is not scared it is angry okay furiated means to get angry okay that is what it is so please start working on the vocabulary guys it's not a very difficult word that i put in here it's quite an easy word okay so we know that b is definitely not the option so that is why all of the above can never be the option so why was she reluctant what do you mean by reluctant yes furiated is like very angry right that is what it is please learn the words and write it in your very notebook guys whenever you come across any new word no i do it even till today everybody like to be very honest with all of you i've got my own personal diary wherein i keep on writing the good phrases the good sentences or i keep on writing the words okay that i tend to see in in certain contexts for example in context of any economic survey economy or any like uh, industrial industrialization kind of thing i do it even today everybody like while i'm teaching you all because that is how we learn a lot of things around us okay please do that this is the right age reluctant is unwilling absolutely correct chini and army okay sonica rashi and let's do it okay so like reluctant is that she was not willing to go that means in hindi if i'm going to translate it ki uska man nahi tha jaane ka wo ready nahi thi jaane ke liye kyun kya reason tha because she had never heard about it and what is it what is it what is it in the option it is school right and she got frightened frightened is as in she was scared so furiated is wrong everybody all righty is that clear i acknowledge I sm I'm sorry I couldn't read your name properly. I don't know what is it. C H K I Chakir Chakir like that. Okay, fair. So please remember it when the question is going to be there in your examination. You have to maintain the tense again. Keep it crisp. Keep it to the point. Keep it brief. Whenever it's a two marker thing. So why was Bolly reluctant to go to school with her father? Bolly was reluctant to go to school with her father because she had never heard about it and she got frightened. Even you can mention about the Lakshmi cow. Okay, she thought that as the way they had sold their cow Lakshmi, similarly they are going to sell her also. Okay, so she was just a child. All right, she didn't have that much of an understanding, and that is why she was really scared about it. all right but later on she felt good about it why because she was being treated in a very nicer manner so roy is leading quite well lalit is there raghav is there zaid is there ridhima is the fastest one shambhavi is there yash is there dakshta is there riya is there astik is there cool everybody that's been going good all righty here we go all righty here we are okay question number 6 on your screen My dear Arun, I need to explain the things to all my students, okay? Because that's really needed this time. It's not gonna be the objective examination in your uh, paper, so you have to be very well prepared for each and everything. And I'm preparing you for that, okay? So just be kind here and just be a little patient in terms of listening, okay? I know we are living in a very fast world, but at times we need to like maintain our pace in a slow manner so that we can grab the knowledge in the right way, okay? Now moving ahead, everybody. What kind of a person is Matilda's husband? He is a caring man who loves his wife. He is a he is an angry man. He is a lazy and lethargic man. Or you will say not. Okay, absolutely correct. Fifty-seven students. That is very right. Okay. Now let's have a look at the leaderboard. Uh, she feared that the cow Lakshmi was sold because she was no more of use. Yes, I know that's absolutely right. Hey, Radhima. Hi, dear. Hello. Okay. So Roy is there. Lalit, Raghav, Zaid, Radhima, the fastest one. Shambhavi, Yash, Dakshta, Riya, Riya. We have got two years. Are you playing from like two, like two particular sources? Question number seven on your screen, everybody. Yeah, Sonika, that was right. How do they replace the necklace? Now, this is one of the very important questions. Like, what did they actually do? How did they do that, everyone? This is what my question is. How do they replace the necklace? Madame Loisel pulled in eighteen thousand francs of his uh, um. inheritance okay so not madam but here in we are talking about mr loisel okay then loisel decide to buy a new dentical necklace to sorry identical okay it's not dentical guys it's identical necklace to replace the last uh, lost one or you will say both one and two yuvraj says c yash says c savita says b namish says a chini says b okay of course everybody c is the right answer here All right, like Mr. Lois, uh, Loisel, he pulled in eighteen thousand francs of his inheritance. Okay, like he had got this from his father. He arranged that particular money, and then they had the thought of like buying an identical necklace. Okay, what was the worth of that identical necklace that they got, which was actually the real diamonds? What was the actual cost of that? Everybody, could you please let me know in the comment section? What was the cost of that necklace, everyone? 
वॉट वॉज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द नेकलेस एवरीबडी यार टेल मी इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन एवरीबडी वॉट वॉज द कॉस्ट एवरी वन थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड फ्रैंक्स ओके और राइट लाइक इट वॉज फोर्टी दे बाग इन एंड देम टू थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड फ्रैंक्स दैट स्कूल द स्पेलिंग फ्रैंक्स गेमर टॉन द गेमर यू रिटर्न इट रॉन्ग दे आर ओके आई एम थिंक आई एम फुली रेडी फॉर इंग्लिश टॉन आई जस्ट नीड योर ब्लेसिंग दे वे आर यू गोन डू गोल डोंट बी वर्ड अबाउट दैट ओके थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड फ्रैंक्स ओके दे बाग एंड डेट टू नो 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 राशि नो राशि वट हैपन टू यू वॉट इज इट लाइक वाई आर योर फैक्ट्स बिकमिंग रॉन्ग it was 40000 they bargained at 236000 francs and 18000 was the amount that he had inherited from his father okay is that clear let's have a look at the leaderboard everybody here we go now who all are there on the leaderboard let's see so roy is at the first position lalit is there and then said the fastest one raghav is there yash is there daksha is there radhima is there riya is there sanjana is there and riya is again there Okay, so that's pretty nice. Question number eight on your screen. Let's see what does it talk about. All right, what job did the lawyer get after graduation? Did he like his work? All righty. So the narrator got the job of a junior assistant clerk in a law firm. Law firm. Or no, he didn't like his work. He had to serve a summons, or like you'll say, both one and two are none. Of course, this is pretty clear here in the answer. Like seems to be like very vivid. Okay. so let's say everybody what is the right answer 10 more seconds so the answer is quite vivid here kamal says c danya says arun everybody okay red shot says b and sonika says c okay all righty and here we are so 45 students you guys are absolutely right about this so both 1 and 2 is absolutely the correct answer so what job did the lawyer get after the graduation did he like his work so here in 45 students absolutely correct okay Yeah, discovery science and Ankit Arun, Tech Master, Danya, Shweta, Arun, and Sanya, John, Kamal, Ashish, Chini, Danya, absolutely correct. So Roy at the first position, then Lalit, then Zay, then Yash, the fastest one, Daksha, Raga, Riya, Radhi, Maria, and Mansi. Cool, everyone. All right, now question number nine on your screen. Let's see that what does it talk about. Okay, why was he happy to go to New Mulian? Why did he go there? Okay so the narrator did not like the dirty and dark sides of the city life he thought that he would find some pleasant sights in new million he thought that he would find some job in new million or you will say both one and two what exactly is the right answer if you're going to get this question in your examination how are you going to uh, do that all right the way i've already done that they all do you want me to come up with another session too like uh, one of the sessions were uh, was being taken okay wherein i told you that how to guide with the letters and everything i had explained everything in detail i would really urge you to kindly go through it once again so that you get to understand it all right 33 students absolutely correct why was he happy to go to new million the reason is that the narrator did not like the dirty and dark sides of the city life that was the reason that he was happy to go to the new sorry he was happy to go to new mulians and why did he go there he thought that he would find some pleasant sights in new mulian that was the reason okay that is why he even went there so both one and two is absolutely the correct answer 33 students i appreciate that now leaderboard here it is okay here we go so roy at the first position said is the fastest one yash is there daksha is there riya is there raghav is there radhima is there riya again is there and lalit is there and sanya is there oh that's pretty nice very good we have got a new student question number 10 on your screen let's see that what does it talk about All right, here we go. Yeah, Pranav. Hey, hi there. Why does the lawyer find the site at the station agreeable? So it's pretty an important question. A two marker can be. All right. So why did he say that the site at the station? I mean, the view at the very station. It was quite agreeable. What was the reason behind it? So to see the dirty road, road roads and rows of wooden shops, or like you see that a man made the dull scene of the station agreeable, or you'll say that both one and two, or now you say none. What exactly is the right answer here? Okay, so the first option seems to be a little incomplete here, but anyway, you guys have given the right answer. Thirty-eight students, absolutely correct. That's very good. Let's have a look at the leaderboard, everyone. Who all are there? I've got Roy at the first position. Okay, all right. Then Z. No, oh my God, what a switch! 
Zed at the Fow is the fastest one. Yash, Daksha, Ridima, Roy, Lalit, Rhea, Palak, Anamta, and Sanya. Absolutely amazing. Okay, hey Ram Chaturvedi, I wish you a very happy birthday, dear. May all your wishes come true. May you achieve the higher pedestal in your life. And may you always remain a very good and a kind person at your heart. Okay, everybody. So, all the 10 questions they are being done. How many of you scored 10 on 10? How many of you scored 10 on 10, everybody, in the comment section, please? Hey, Pradeep, that's not like too tough. It's a piece of cake. All you need to do is that you need to work hard for that. You need to be very like uh, rigorous about it in terms of your uh, uh, in terms of your practice, in terms of listening to others, in terms of doing hard work on your own. Okay, Rush, 8 on 10, entertainment, okay, 9 on 10, 10 on 10. Nobody got 10 on 10. Oh, my God, that, that's really a shock for me. Okay, hey, Rishabh, idea, Namda. Okay, Madhu, cool, 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 Rashi. Nobody 10 on 10, guys. Why is that? It wasn't that tough, right? Seema, very nice. Congratulations. Rotonda, that's really very bad. Sonika, good, not bad. Okay, so whosoever got 8, 9, and 10, that's really nice. Seema is the only student who is telling me. Rahul said 10, and Balram Pranav, 10. Okay, okay. 0 on 10. Oh, my God, Yuvraj, I, I think you must be kidding right now. Question number 11, Dhanya, that's amazing. Good, good, good. Very nice, guys. Very nice. How did the hack driver sketch, uh, sketch the character of Lutkins? He sketched Lutkins as a very clever man or he was good at deceiving people or you'll say like both one and two or yeah, you'll say none. Okay. So now what, what, what exactly is the meaning of this question, guys? Like how did the hack driver sketch the character of Lutkins? What do you really understand by this? Like what does it actually show? Here we go, 10 more so, seconds, everybody. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the time is up. All right, 10 on 10. Clever man. All right, yeah, absolutely correct, guys. Absolutely correct. Could you please tell me the meaning of the question? Like, what do we really understand by this question? What does this question really, like, in a way, talks about? What does this talk about, everyone? Like sketching the uh, character, what does it mean? Like he was portraying him in front of him in quite uh, like in, in which manner? Does the, does this what it mean? I just will describe Lutkin school. That's pretty fine. 53 students, absolutely correct. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. What does the leaderboard talk about? So Zed is at the very first position. Okay. And that's pretty nice. So he's the fastest one too. Yash is there. Daksha, Radhima, Lalit, Rhea, Palak, Anamta, Sanya and... We have got Rhea as well. Okay, here we go. Question is asking about Oliver character. Okay, what is the character? What? Yeah, that is right. Okay, that I can stay. I still five because my eyes will start paying. I have to take rest also. Okay, discovery science. Question number 12. I'll try my level best, dear. I'll try my level best. Okay. Now, here we go. What did the hack driver tell the narrator about Lutkin's mother? Now, what did he say? Lutkin's mother was a real terror. Uh, terror. Uh, Lutkin's mother was a real innocent woman. Lutkin's mother was a bad person or you'll say all. What is it that he really mentioned to him? Madhu says A. Okay. Let's see if that's going to be the right answer. All right. Dhanya says A. Palak says A. Ankit says A. And Seema says A. Discovery Science says D. Rashi says A. And Anjali says A. Okay, 39 students. Absolutely correct. Lutkin's mother was a real terror. Guys, all is not there. Okay, nowhere he mentioned that she was a real innocent woman. The, even the act. What did she do, everybody? What did she do that made them say that it was a pretty disrespectful uh, like moment? Okay. Treatment, basically. Okay, pretty disrespectful treatment. What did she do, everybody? Like, nowhere, guys. Understand the context. You guys are telling me that, like, it says Lutkin's mother was a real innocent woman. Nowhere it has been given like that. Yes. What's the right answer? What did she do, everyone? Come on. She ran with an iron and Nitesh and iron rod. Okay, she ran after them with an iron rod. Everybody have been telling this. Why with a iron rod? Guys, we have to take care of everything when we are writing a grammatical answer, right? So, please take care of that. 39 students, absolutely correct. Terror as in musibat. Okay? Okay, if they don't mind. If they could check her house for Lodkins. No, my dear. Okay, Discovery Science. She basically ran after them with an iron rod. That is what he termed it as pretty disrespectful treatment. Daksha, the fastest one. Radhima, Zed, Rhea, Palak, Yes, Sanya, Sanjana, Rhea, and Lalit. Absolutely correct. Okay, here we go. Question number 13. Let's have a look. What does it talk about? 
Okay, here we are. So, how did Lutkin's mother receive the narrator? So, it's quite an important question. How did she do that? She tried to avoid their inquiry. She tried to solve their inquiry. She tried to answer the questions or you'll say none. Okay, what did she do? Okay, how did Lutkin's mother receive the narrator? She was a real terror. She was about 9 feet tall and 6 feet uh, inch. Okay, and once he carried uh, her belongings to the farmers and he almost got her skin off. Right, right. Absolutely correct. Okay. So that is absolutely right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And the time is up. Alrighty. Let's have a look. What does it really talk about? Rashi says D. Deadshot says A. Ankit says A. Rashi says D. Yuvraj says A. And then Nitesh says A again. And Sharil uh, says D. Okay. Alrighty, 47 students, absolutely correct. How did Lutkin's mother receive the narrator? Uh, she received the narrator by avoiding all their inquiries. Okay, and she was not ready to give them an answer the right way. And she even ran after them with an iron rod. Yes, absolutely correct. Very good. Hey, Tanisha, very good afternoon. Rashi, the question, the question here is talking about what? The question says, Mm, how did Lutkin's mother receive the narrator? That means that how did uh, she welcome them? Okay, like we use this particular uh, phrase like how did you receive them? That means that how did you welcome them? Okay, so now here that is what we are talking about. I hope you got that Rashi, right? Okay, all right, here we go. So let's see what are there. Okay, very good. Okay, Madhu, that's you at the very fifth position. So, Dakshita at the first position, Radhima, the fastest one, Riya, Palak, Sanjana, Madhu, and yeah, I mean Sanjana, Madhu. And then, yeah, Shriya, Zed, Lalit, and AJ. So, everybody has been doing it good, okay? But she didn't have a word together. No, like she was not word together as in here and we meant that she was not ready to answer anything. They were asking the questions about uh, the very driver, no, the, sorry, the, um, the character, that is Oliver Lutkins. But she was not ready to give any information. That's what we are here talking about. All right. With what impression did the lawyer come back to the city? The lawyer returned to the city with a good impression. He found the people of village simple, wise and soft. Okay, S-O-F-T. Both one and two. All righty or none. So basically, simple, wise and soft spoken. I'm sorry, I've eaten the rest of the letters. But anyway, I, I hope that you guys have understood and got the meaning. Like what exactly it is talking about. All right. So time is our 47 students. Absolutely correct. Both one and two is right. Very good, everybody. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. What does the leaderboard talk about? All right, let's see that what does it mention here. Okay. All right, Dakshita at the first position. Radhima, Rhea, Palak, Zeddy, Fastest One, Rhea, Lalit, AJ, Namta, and Karan. We are absolutely correct. Okay, good going, everybody. Question number 15 on your screen. Let's see what exactly is it talking about. Artistic, my classes take place right at 2 p.m., okay, usually. But since your examination is coming now, so the, there would be a little change in the timings in terms of me taking the classes, uh, like maybe either in the morning or like in the evening or maybe in the afternoon. So you'll have to keep a check. Usually the timings would be like 10 a.m. in the morning or 1, 2, 3 p.m., okay, or maybe 2 p.m. And in the evening, like around you can say 4 p.m., okay. On Saturdays, I'll come to see you all at 4 p.m. Okay. So yeah, why was he sent back to New Mulian? Who went with him? He had failed in his mission earlier. This time another man was a friend to Lutkins who sent with him. This another this time another man who had all right both one and three absolutely correct. Okay, so basically he had failed in his mission earlier and this time another man who had worked with Lutkins was sent with him. So that is the right answer. Let's see now what exactly is going to be the leaderboard. Okay, so who all are there on the leaderboard? So, Dakshita is at the first position. Radhima is there. Rhea is there. Palak is there. Zaidi fastest one. Lalit is there. Namta, AJ, Sanjana and Yash. Okay, everyone. Here we go. Question number 16. Here we are. Now, how did a book become a turning point in Richard A. Bright's life? What exactly is the right answer? Yes, everybody. 
so he got interested in tracking the migration of butterflies he got interested in tracking the migration of insects or you'll say both one and two or you'll say none so how did a book become a turning point in the richard a bright's life what exactly is going to be the answer here everyone both one and two no of course not everybody that is not right okay that is not right like he got interested only in the tracking the migration of butterflies that is the right answer 19 students absolutely and amazingly correct a pat on your shoulder that's how you're gonna write you're not gonna talk about the insects what insects are we here talking about what did he experiment on apart from butterflies that we know okay so a is of course the right answer Alrighty, Renu, I am. I'm gonna come up with that too. Don't be worried about it. So everyone, come on, tell me. He got interested in tracking the migration of butterflies. What was the name of the book? What was the name of the book? Everybody in the comment section. Yes. What was the name of the book? Everybody in the comment section. No, Nitesh, it's not the travel, it's the travels. Tra the travels of Monarch X, okay? You need to remember the name of the book correctly. And who gifted this book to her? Yes, who gave this book to her, everybody, or to him, sorry. Okay, everyone, that's absolutely correct. Alrighty, let's have a look at the leaderboard. His mother, yes. Here we go. Alright, his mother, absolutely right. Okay, yes. So, Dakshta is at the first. Okay, Ridhima is there, Dakshta is there, Lalit is there, Riya, Palak, Zaid, Mansi, Nitesh, the fastest one, Sumit, and Anamta. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, uh, okay, Charvi, maybe this is not included in RBSC, but this is very much included in CBSC. Okay, how did his mother help him? Okay, so how did his mother help him? She took him on trips and bought scientific equipment for him. She spent all her time in setting up challenges for him. She presented him the book, The Travels of Monarch X, or you'll say all. What exactly is the right answer? Yes, 43 students, absolutely correct. very nice guys very nice this is the very right answer okay guys could you please just let me know like uh, uh if we are gonna talk about like uh, what was the very uh like contribution of his mother again making him a scientist what other points can you write in an explicit manner if the question is asking your four marker what are the explicit points and the detailed points that you're gonna write come on okay, give me the answer in the comment section Okay, everyone, come on. What are the things that you're going to include in this? Hard work, dedication. Okay, all the three points in option that, of course, you're going to do that. All right, that is absolutely right. 
okay encourage him she supported him his mother was indeed the person that had been making over scientist okay encourage him all right so basically basically she she couldn't let him sit idle when there was a leisure time she was always finding something for him so that he could keep himself involved and do the task as per his hobbies okay so 43 students absolutely correct let's have a look at the leaderboard what does the leaderboard talk about all righty so who are there on the leaderboard Okay, everyone. So we see that Radhima, uh, Radhima is at the very first position. Then Daksha is there. Then Lalit, the Undertaker. Pala Gupta, the fastest one. Rhea is there. Zed is there. Nitesh is there. Namta is there. Sumit is there. Mansi is there. All right. She always gave him the work based on uh, gave gave uh, on his learning. Right. So now let's have a look at the next question. Question number eighteen on your screen. Let's see what is the question talk about. All right. Here we go. What does a jackfruit like a parents mean? What do you really understand by a jackfruit like a parents? Show everyone in the comment section. It means having a plum physique like a jackfruit. It means having a thin uh, physique like a jackfruit. Or it means having an uh, ugly physique or you will say none. What exactly is the right answer everyone? Just let me know in the comment section everybody. Yes, everybody. What is the right answer? Okay, 43 students absolutely correct about this. Let's have a look at the leaderboard now. What does the leaderboard here talk about? Okay, they are... Okay, so Rhythma is at the very first position. Then Dakshita is there. Lalit is there. And Palak is there. Okay. And Rhea... Okay, no. It's Rhythma, Lalit, Rhea, Dakshita, Zed, Palak, Anamta, Nitesh, Sumit, and Yash. The fastest one. Alrighty, now we are going to move ahead. Yes, everybody, what exactly is the right answer for this one? Hey, Viraj, good afternoon. Now, uh, please see me in the very comment. Can you all see me in the comment section? Can you please conf confirm the same in the comment section, everybody? Guys, can you all confirm in the comment section that you all can see me well? Everyone, please just let me know in the comment section. Am I clearly visible? Okay, so let's move to our mentee. Okay. Here we go. All right. Just a moment, guys. We are going to move. Okay. Yes. Here we go. So, 23 students. Absolutely correct. Can you all see me well? What is the story about the Kurabu people descent? Okay. So, the story here basically refers to the people of Kur, or descendants of Greeks or Arabs. Alright, so 23 students, absolutely correct. Thank you everyone for the confirmation in the comment section. So yeah, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Who all are there on the very leaderboard? Okay, so Radhima at the first position. Lalithi fastest one. It is Somit, Rhea, Mansi, Kek, Daksta, Sara, and Z. Alright, now let's have a look at the leaderboard everyone. Again, question number, not the, sorry, not the leaderboard, but the next question. Question number 20, right on your screen everybody. What is the third and jingle of the traditional baker's bamboo indicate? What does the third and jingle of the traditional baker's bamboo indicate? It indicates announcement of the arrival of the baker in the morning. It indicates announcement of the departure of the baker in the morning. It indicates announcement of children's noise or none. What exactly is the right answer here? UV says A, RF says A, Heman says A, Himanshi says A, Sweeta says A. Alrighty, for the students, absolutely correct. The third and jingle of the traditional baker's bamboo indicate the announcement of the arrival of the baker in the morning. So, for the students, absolutely and amazingly right about this. Okay, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Who all are there on the leaderboard? 
so Radhima is at the very first position. Okay, then Lalit. Uh, Radhima is the fastest one. Lalit is there. Nitesh, Sumit, Riya, Cake, Mansi, Daksha, Sara, and Z. Okay, here we are. Now we are done with twenty questions. Absolutely amazingly right. Question number twenty one on your screen. Let's see what does it talk about. How would the baker greet the lady of the house? What exactly is the right answer? How would the baker Treat the lady of the house. Okay. So, the baker would greet the lady of the house with good morning. The baker would greet the lady of the house with good evening. The baker would greet the lady of the house with good night. What's going to be the right answer according to all of you? What is it, everybody? Here we go. Come on. Okay. So, very good. 36 students. Absolutely and amazingly, right? Okay, the baker would greet. So, this is how you're going to give the answer. Always look at the verb that has been used in the question and accordingly come up with an answer. The baker would greet the lady of the house with good morning. Okay, now let's have a look at the leaderboard. So, what does the leaderboard talk about? Rhythma is at the very first position. And then we have got Lalit, the undertaker. Okay, Rhythma, the fastest one. Lalit, the undertaker. Nitesh, Somit, Riya, Mansi, Daksha, Sara, Karanveer and Anamta. Alrighty, now we are going to move to the next question. Question number 22 on your screen. Let's see what does it talk about. Alright, what did the children long to get from the baker? What is it that they really seek for, uh, seek from him? The children long for to get bread bangles from the baker. The children long for to get uh, loaves of bread from the baker or both one and two. What's going to be the correct answer? Okay, so what exactly is the right answer here in this context, everybody? What did the children long to get from the baker? The children longed for to get bread bangles from the baker. The children longed for to get loaves. Okay, 30 students, absolutely and amazingly, right? That's really, really good. Let's have a look at the leaderboard now. What does the leaderboard talk about? All right, let's see, everybody. Now, Rhythma at the first position, Lalit is there, Nitesh is there, Sumit, Dakshita, Mansi, Sara, Karanveer, Jaden and Sanjana Madhu, you are the fastest one, I appreciate that. Alright, now we are going to move to the next question, question number 23. Yes everyone. Question number 23 on your screen, everybody. Let's see what does it talk about. What kind of fragrance does the author still recall? Okay, we see that he still recalls the fragrance. So, what is the fragrance that we are here talking about? The, uh, the author still recalls the typical fragrance of the baker's loaves. Or the author still recalls the typical fragrance of his perfume. Or you will say that both one and two or you will say none. What is the right answer? Rashi says A. Yuvraj says A. Okay, Nitesh says A, studies the key to success, hello, hi, Ankit says A, Purvi says A, okay, Army says A, alright, sweet smell of loaves, okay, they were, that's absolutely right, Charvi says A, Ayush says A, Anjali says A, Shweta says A, Shubham says A, okay, everybody has been saying A, of course, that is right, so fragrance, uh, the, the fragrance which the author recalls is that of the typical uh, fragrance of the baker's loaves, okay, that is absolutely right, now we are going to move to the leaderboard, let's see that what does the leaderboard here talk about, alright, Mm, of the baker's loaves. That's right. Rhythm the fastest one. Lalit, Nitesh, uh, Somet, Daksha, Mansi, Sara, Karanvi, Jaden and Madhu. Absolutely amazing. Now question number 24 on your screen. Let's see that what does it talk about. I have got uh, the question. When did the baker collect his bills? Okay. So when did the baker collect his bills? The baker collected his bills at the end of the week. The baker collected his bills at the beginning of the month. The baker collected his bills at the end of the month. So what's going to be the right answer? You're going to say all. So 19 more seconds for everybody right there. Rashi says C. Purvi says C. Okay. Alrighty. Army girl says C. And Army girl again says C. Okay. Madhu says C. Soja says C. And Abhay says See, okay, let me see if that's gonna be the right answer, though I'm not really aware of it. So the time is up. Let's see, 35 students, absolutely correct. The baker collected his bills at the end of the month. Now, here is the leaderboard. Let's see what does the leaderboard talk about. All right, 
so i've got rhythm at the first position lalit is the fastest one nitesh is there so many daksha mansi sara karanvi riya and satyam absolutely correct guys okay question number 25 on your screen let's see what does it say which is the smallest district of karnataka okay what do you see everyone Kurg is the smallest district of Karnataka. Assam is the smallest district of Karnataka. Goa is the smallest district of Karnataka. What exactly is the right answer, everyone? Army girl says A. Madhu says A. Purvi says Hello. Oh, hi, Purvi. So just says Kurg. Ankit says A. Okay. Everybody is aware of the right answers. I suppose everyone is like turning into an intelligent kind of student. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. Okay, so what exactly is the right answer? Here we go. Time is up. So, which is the smallest district of Karnataka? Forty-one students. Absolutely correct. Kurg is the smallest district of Karnataka. Okay. Now the next question on your no, basically the leaderboard and not the question. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Ready? My the first question. Lalit is there. Nitesh, Somit, Dakshita, Mansi, the fastest one. Sara, Karanvi, Riya, and Satyam. All righty. Here we are now. Question number twenty-six on your screen. Okay, let's see what does it say. What shows that Kurgis might be of Arabic descent? How do we come to know that they are from the Arabic descent? Like, what exactly are the chances? So, Kodavus wear the long black coat with an embroidered waist belt, and the belt is known as kufia. And this coat resembles the kufia worn by the Arabs and the Kurds. Or you'll say on. Guys, I want all of you to look at the options as well, okay? Because when this question is going to be there in your examination, you are supposed to club the points that are being mentioned here. Like what shows that Kurgis might be of Arabic descent? So Kurgis might be of Arabic descent because Kodavus they wear the long black coat with an embroidered waist belt, and the belt is known as kufia, and this coat basically resembles the kufia which is worn by the Arabs and the Kurds. Okay, so thirty-eight students absolutely and amazingly right. Okay, let's have a look at the leaderboard, everybody. What does it say? Radhima at the very first position, and then we have got um, right. Then Lalit is there, Nitesh the fastest one, Somit, Daksha, Mansi, Sara, Karanvi, Riya, and Satyam. Absolutely right. Very good. Let's have a look at the next question. Question number twenty-seven on your screen. So there is a languid emerald emerald sea where the sole inhabitant is me, a mermaid drifting blissfully. Why are these lines given within brackets? Because they reveal the inner thoughts of Amanda. Brackets are used for visual contrast, or you'll say both one and two, or you'll say none. So what exactly is the right answer in this particular context? Madhu says A. All right. See, this question is important. Like in your written form, when you see that something has been written in brackets, so there is always a reason about it. Okay, that has already been done, Zion. We have already done that. That has already there on the very uh, channel. Please check that. Okay. Ah, uh, Bhavisha, like I'll uh, like uh, to be very honest, I'll say that whatever you think you're good at, go with that. But yeah, of course, uh, like if you're gonna compare analytical paragraph for formal letter, I would say try to go for formal letter. Okay, because we have got certain patterns of lines that we are supposed to use there. and the format is supposed to be same you have to be a bit more creative in terms of uh, writing your body okay the body of your letter okay so this time as per the sample paper there is a choice between an analytical paragraph and your formal letter so prepare uh, do not just go with that particular mindset that there cannot be the choice between analytical paragraphs only or the formal letters only so be kind to yourself that you are preparing for both of them and doing the best that you think is going to be for you in your examination All right, but you can of course go for the formal letter. So twenty-four students absolutely right about this. Zion Gaming, we are already done with that. Hey Arohi, hello dear, very good afternoon. So everyone, both one and two is the right answer. First, we see that they are revealing the inner thoughts of Amanda. Okay, this is what we see, and along with that, we see that brackets they are used for the visual contrast. And what is that visual contrast? Can you write that in the very comment section, everyone? Hi Pranav, hello dear. Can you please write in the comment section what is the visual contrast are we here talking about? Can you please mention that? What visual contrast? What is it that like as a reader you see when you are reading that poem? What is it? Hi Krutang, I like your name. Yes, tell me. 
इट इज लाइक विजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ इमांडा गाइस सी विजुअल कंट्रास्ट बेसिकली रेफर्स टू अ कंट्रास्ट बिटवीन द रियल वर्ल्ड एंड द इमेजिनेटिव वर्ल्ड दैट इज व्हाट द विजुअल कंट्रास्ट इज ओके बिकॉज़ लाइक द एक्चुअल थिंग इज दैट व्हेन हर मदर इज गिविंग हर इंस्ट्रक्शंस दैट वी कैन सी वेरी मच डायरेक्टली इन द बुक एंड देन समथिंग इज गिवन इन ब्रैकेट्स दैट मींस दोस आर द इनर थॉट्स ऑफ इमांडा वेयर इन शी इज कंप्लीटली लॉस्ट एंड शी इज सीकिंग द कामनेस एंड पीसफुलनेस देयर ओके So now let's make a move. Where she thought to be a mermaid, be Rapunzel. That's all okay. But my thing is, what was the visual contrast? So the correct answer should be the visual contrast is the contrast between the real world and the imaginary world. Okay. So Ritima in the first position, Nitesh, Sumit, Dakshita is the fastest one. Mansi, Sara, Lalit, Karanveer, Ria, and Satya. Okay. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number twenty-eight on your screen. Here we go. All right. Let's see now. The silence is golden. The freedom is sweet. How come silence is golden? Quite an important question. A two marker can be okay. This question can even be a part of your extract thing. Though the extracts they are not coming in your examination, but still I am making you all practice it because we never know. Okay, and then now uh, we like a question can stand independently as well. So by making silence golden, the poet is estimating the worth of silence. For Amanda, seeks peace and calmness. Peace is absent in her reality. Okay, thirty-five students. Absolutely correct. All right. Absolutely correct. Now let's have a look at the leaderboard, everyone. So we see that Rudima is at the very first position. Nitesh is there, and Dakshita the fastest one. Somet, Mansi, Karanvi, Lalit, Riya, Sara, and Satyam. Hey Kaivalya, hello, hi dear, welcome to the very session. And question number twenty nine on your screen now. Let's see what does it talk about. Why will Amanda not let down her bright hair? Okay, she said that she will not let down her bright hair. Amanda also wishes to live alone, carefree, without any uh, disturbance. Amanda doesn't like to dirty her hair, or you'll say all of the above, or you'll say none. Okay, so what's gonna be the right and absolutely the amazing answer that we can at least choose here? So fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, in ten more seconds, everybody. Okay, so let's see: seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the time is up. All right. So what's gonna be the right answer? Thirty-four students, absolutely correct. All of the above. No, there is no point like that. That Amanda doesn't want her to dirty her hairs. Okay, so she wishes to live alone, carefree, without any disturbance. So thirty-four students, absolutely right about it. Now let's have a look at the leaderboard. What does the leaderboard here refer to? Okay. All right, here we go. Rudima, Nitesh, Dakshita, Sumit, Mansi, Lalit, uh, the fastest one, Karanveer, Satyam, Jayden, and Ria. All right, let's make a move now. Question number thirty on your screen. Let's see that what does it really talk about? Okay, and is Amanda really sulking? Do we see that she is really sulking? Everyone. Yes, everybody. Amanda is not sulking. She just doesn't care about instruction. Yes, Amanda is sulking. She just doesn't care about instructions. Or you'll say both one and two, or you'll say none. So, what exactly is going to be the right answer? Okay. All righty. No, 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 guys. Here in the answer is wrong. Okay. Let me just correct it for all of you. Allow me a little time, okay? Could you please just let me know the question, uh, like the uh, number of the question in the comment section, please, so that I would come to know and can correct it. Here, the correct answer is your option number one, which is uh, like which has been answered by twenty four students. Okay, so just let me know that what exactly is the right answer here. In all right, here we are. All right, so allow me a little time, everyone. Let me just fix it for all of you. All right. What is the question number? Thirtieth is the question number. Okay. Let me just do it. All right. Please wait a little, because herein and uh, the the we are not going to say that uh, she was not sulking. Sorry, that uh, she was sulking. Okay, she was not. 
all right keep that in your mind it's an important point okay kindly remember it for your examinations okay let's have a look everyone so yeah 30th question everybody right here we go with the 30th question yeah okay so amanda is not sulking not both one and two okay don't be ever confused about this in your examination yeah here we go everyone it has been done correct now here we are all right so i hope that you all can see that now 24 students absolutely correct and amanda is not sulking sulking what do you mean by the term sulking can you please let me know in the comment section what do you understand by the term sulking what does it mean what does this mean everybody moody no, yeah, sulking is basically like when you are in a bad temper or maybe that you are uh, like uh, a little irritated kind of person okay that way so let's have a look to be ignorant and moody yeah mansi that is right okay so leaderboard radhima nitesh daksha sumit mansi lalit karanvi satyam jaden and sara all right let's have a look now now we are moving towards the next question so we are done with 30 questions last five questions for all of you question number 31 why do humans lie awake in the dark what is the reason behind that uh humans lie awake in the dark for weeping uh for their sins dark weeping for their sins or humans lie awake in the dark laughing for their happiness or you'll say both one and two or you'll say none so 18 more seconds for everybody and let me know in the comment section that was gonna be the right and absolutely correct answer okay so 10 more seconds army says a balram says a nitesh says a aruhi says a yuvraj says a and everybody uzma says a okay one and the time is up all righty 31 students absolutely correct humans lie awake in the dark because they weep for their sin sense okay and that is what we have to remember now leaderboard here it is let's see that who all are there on the leaderboard redima is at the very first position okay and nitesh Sumit, Mansi, Dakshita, Karanveer, Lalit, Jaden, Satyam and Namta is the fastest one. Now we are moving towards the next question. Question number 32. Okay, explain the line. They bring me tokens of myself. What exactly is the right answer? they bring me tokens of myself uh, true values of the human nature such as kindness and innocence or it talks about the tokens received from people or you'll say both one and two or you'll say none what exactly is the right answer okay here we go aruhi aruhi depends if you've been studying right from the very start half an hour on a daily basis is sufficient okay but now since your examination is coming make sure that you are allocating at least one hour to each and every subject and managing everything quite rigorously okay 20 students absolutely correct tokens of myself is basically a metaphor it's working as a metaphorical representation wherein we are talking about the true values of the human's nature such as the kindness and innocence so 20 students absolutely right and correct about it let's have a look at the leaderboard what does the leaderboard talk about and Ridhima is at the very first position and nitesh is there sumit is there all right Ridhima, nitesh mansi sumit karanvir lalit dakshita satya manamta the fastest one and jaden absolutely correct okay let's have a look at the next question question number 33 on your screen all right why does the poet say that he negligently dropped the human values why does he mention like that what makes him mention this okay why does the poet say that he negligently dropped the human values the poet believes that animals got their values from humans the poet believes that animals got their values from their ancestors all of the above or you'll say none what exactly is the right answer 12 more seconds everybody what exactly is the right answer the poet believes that animals got their values from humans 23 students absolutely correct the poet believes that animals got their values from their ancestors of course that is right so 23 students absolutely right let's make a move ahead and let's have a look at the leaderboard what does the leaderboard here mention and i see that rhythm is at the very first position and i then 
ਇਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਨਿਤੇਸ਼ ਮਾਨਸੀ ਲਲਿਤ ਕਰਨਵੀਰ ਸਾਥੀਆਂ ਮੇ ਨਾਮ ਤਾਂ ਦਕਸ਼ਤਾ ਇਨ ਜੇਲ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਫਾਸਟੈਸਟ ਵਨ ਐਬਸੋਲਿਊਟਲੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਉ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਨਾ ਮੂਵ ਟੂ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ 34 ਔਨ ਯਰ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਲੈਟਸ ਸੀ ਵਾਟ ਡਸ ਇਟ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਾਊ ਬ੍ਰੇਵ ਵਰ ਦ ਕਿਟਨ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਮਾਊਸ ਓਕੇ ਹੇਅਰ ਵੀ ਗੋ the kitten and the mouse were so brave that they could scare away lion the kitten and the mouse were brave that they could scare away tiger or you'll say both one and two or you'll say none what exactly is the right answer what do we see in the given poem is actually coming up as the right answer yes everybody balram says a vrat says c okay usma says b balram says a okay amigal says b all righty let's see that what exactly is going to be the right one right let's have a look at it so 17 students absolutely correct the mention is uh, that of lion and not tiger all right that is very much important aruhi if you want to be very much motivated you just have to be confident in yourself okay you have to just train your mind that uh, you whatever you learned whatever you did or however you practice that's all for your good and you know it okay do not have that self uh, over confidence but keep the self confidence intact ओके प्रतिमा ललित दी फास्टेस्ट वन सुमित नितेश मानसी कर्णवीर नंद सत्यम दक्षिण जेनन एब्सोल्युटली अमेजिंग हे शिखा सो द वेरी लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टुडे सेशन लेट्स हैव अ लुक व्हाट डज इट से हाउ मेनी वेपन्स वाज द पायरेट कैरिंग नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक द पायरेट वाज कैरिंग टू पिस्टल्स इन ईच हैंड एंड कटलेस इन टीथ द पायरेट वाज कैरिंग वन पिस्टल इन हैंड एंड कटलेस इन टीथ द पायरेट वाज कैरिंग थ्री पिस्टल्स इन ईच हैंड एंड कटलेस इन टीथ व्हाट्स गोना बी द राइट आंसर हियर Okay 17 more seconds for everybody and let's see that who is going to win this all right so 10 more seconds everybody and let me know the right answer in the comment section please all right 5 4 3 2 1 and the time is up all right let's have a look very good 18 students absolutely and amazingly right about this let's have a final look at the very leaderboard who is the winner today and rudima lalit uh, sumit nitesh mansi karanvi dhanavta satyam daksha and pranav all right a very many congratulations to all the students right there and rudima very nice very very many congratulations it's really really appreciated so everybody make sure that you all are listening to me very carefully and you are taking everything quite seriously as well and you are working for your own good too all right uh because uh, the exam is there in just one month and we have to be prepared for it all right without a miss so just be prepared in a good manner all right and for your good this is very very important for everyone right there and now i would like to let you know or like i would like to uh, tell you all that we have come up with the batches okay for all the students who have just landed into their ninth standard so kindly impart the information to all your dear and near ones all around this batch it is for term 1 it got started on march 16 mode of delivery is english and this is term 1 syllabus for new session and then we started with inception batch for all the subjects march 16 okay is the very date end date is june 30 and the mode of delivery is english term one syllabus it is go ahead with it and then we have got kick start term one class 10 batch start date march 16 mode of delivery is english here already this is for class 10th we have started for the subjects math science and social science so all the new students who have just landed into their 10th standard you all can become a part of this batch then we have got last mile math and social science practice with ajinkya sir all right class 10th is it is uh, batch start date is march 10 and mode of delivery is english okay it's math and social science now moving ahead everyone we have got the bugs bounty it's an opportunity for all the learners to report any inappropriate content in the video be the first one to report a particular issue to claim your prize and report any inappropriate content using the form given in the description okay and in iconic uh, guys we are giving you all personal guidance one on one guidance from the top exam experts then test analysis would also be there you all can get one on one guidance from the top exam experts study planner would be there customized study plan with bi weekly reviews study material specialized notes and practice tests experts guidelines study booster workshop by exam experts then we have got the plus um, guidelines also i mean plus features also wherein you are getting the live classes weekly tests structured courses and unlimited access okay so if you guys are going to go for iconic you will be getting the benefits of plus as well but if you are going ahead with just plus you are going to get the benefits of plus only all right now moving ahead we have got different monthly plans everybody these very particular plans they are going to change soon everyone make sure that you are taking your decision very fast as of now you all can go ahead with any plan that suits you the best okay 
like 48 months 42 months 36 months 24 or uh, 18 months 15 months 12 months 9 months 6 months or 3 months pss 10 is the code everybody you all can make use of this code and you all can avail straightforward 10 percent discount and make your life really very easier and of course i'll be giving you an affirmation that i'm gonna be there to solve any of your doubts okay so don't miss that out and then everybody for iconic also we have got different monthly uh subscriptions okay plans 48 months 36 months 24 months 18 months 15 months 12 months 9 months 6 months and 3 months okay pss 10 is the code everybody make use of this code all right this is literally amazing this will give you straightforward 10 percent discount all right please make sure that you're going ahead with this to make your life super duper easier because when you're gonna check the weightage of the amount as compared to the weightage of the benefits and the features that we are offering to all of you you'll see that that is more okay so make sure you're going ahead with the best and everybody revise for your final examination to emerge exam ready practice these labors with curated mcqs map your strength with detailed performance reports analyze questions and answers with the top educators with an academy emerge for cbsc class 10 and 12 learners march 26 to 29 5 pm onwards it is enroll right away the code is psh10 okay this is the code psh10 all right so note biology mock test starts 2 p.m on but everybody make sure you're becoming a part of it because it is for your good and cbc combat class 9 every sunday 11 a.m 30 questions in 45 minutes if you haven't registered for an academy combat yet then kindly hurry up don't miss your short at winning scholarship worth rupee 1 crore rank 1 to 3 would be given 100 percent scholarship rank 4 to 10 would be given 75 percent scholarship rank 11 to 50 would be given 50 percent scholarship and rank 51 to 150 would be given 25 percent scholarship so medals for top three rankers and merit certificates for top 25 rankers and roll right away use the code pss10 and make your life really easier now our academy store everybody we opened it in delhi okay uh in delhi we opened it and 30 booster road old rajendranagar near metro pillar one to one you all can make a visit and guys the prices they are going to rise from april 1 act fast to save right now you still have time to save it for yourself uh like as of now in plus like if you want to go for like uh, 20, 12 months the cost is fifteen thousand. but from april 1 it is going to be seventeen thousand two hundred and fifty. you can save your money right now now think wisely you can easily compare all the prices here and if you see for iconic the duration for 24 months i mean uh duration if is the uh if you're choosing for the duration 24 months the cost is 48,000, and the new prices is 55,200. so it's definitely going to increase for six months it's 17,000, but for the new prices would be 19,550. so for all cbsc plus and iconic subscriptions four days to go everybody you still have time Think about it, think wisely, think it for your good and make a move ahead. All right. So subscribe before prices to go up. Okay. Now the code is PSH10. Make use of it. Avail straightforward 10% discount for your good. Okay. So that you can do well in your life. All right. So guys, now we have got CBSE class 6 to 12 creative corner is back you all can get three months creative corner subscription for free on purchase of 12 months and above and you know like being creative in today's time is really a mandate it's very very important this is from march 25 to march 28 you still have time limited period offer it is subscribe right now psh10 is the code everybody go ahead with this all right you're gonna get the 10 percent off for this one go ahead and we are introducing the community never miss any update from your favorite educator get sessions notes and practice material share your feedback directly with educators via polls and check out the link to the educator community below so i hope everybody that you all love the session thank you everyone if you're new to the channel do not forget to hit the bell button and of course like and share the session with all your friends all right i'll catch you all soon tomorrow right at 8, 10 a.m in the morning do not forget to uh, attend the very class i mean uh, which is going to be a very important one and then uh, at 2 pm also i'm gonna take the class tomorrow so be right there everybody with